Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Cal. Welcome once again to our uh, devotional verse and thought of the day. Now, you'll be watching this on Friday, November the 6th. And if all the weather reports are true, this coming weekend, we are in for one whale of a snowstorm. Now, did you have plans this weekend? Did you have plans for a Sunday in particular? If you did, I hope they weren't too major because likely we are going to have to change our plans or perhaps cancel them altogether. A 2020 has been one, well, quite a year. Many have used the word disruption to describe what's been going on uh, this past year. Obviously, COVID is the major uh, issue of the day. And many of the plans that you may have had for 2020 have just gone by the wayside. Uh, we've had to either put them on hold or cancel them or postpone them altogether. We've had to adjust in ways that we never expected that we would have. I know one family that had a big trip planned, uh, you know, to all over, all over the place for several weeks, months even. And uh, all of that got cut short because of COVID. Now, it's unfortunate that often our plans go by the wayside. But listen to what God says about His plans. In Psalm 33, we read in verse 11, But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. You see, God's plans always come to fruition. What's happening right now, despite what it looks like to us, is still part of God's plan. But God's plans aren't just for creation and the world around us. They're for each and every one of us. Psalm 33 continues to say, But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of His heart through all generations. Blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord, the people He chose for His inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. You see, God not only has a plan for what's happening around us, He has a plan for each and every one of us. And that's the amazing thing, is that sometimes when our plans go sideways, God's plans to work in us and through us always continue on. Even in our disobedience, God's plans are fulfilled. So how can you ensure that your plans, for instance, this weekend aren't disrupted or canceled, or your plans for 2020 haven't been disrupted, uh, can, will continue to be disrupted? Well, submit yourself to God. Allow His plans to be your plans. Align your life with His. And that way you can be sure that your plans, God's plans, will always stand firm forever. You can begin doing that by having a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. So if you haven't done that yet, I encourage you, do that now. And then you can be sure that your plans will follow His. Hope you have a great weekend, great rest of the day.